Okay, we're going to talk about something that we all have a love-hate relationship with, and that is our Outlook email, uh, and in particular our Outlook webmail. We're going to look at some tips within webmail. A lot of these tips uh, will also work in the desktop version of Outlook as well, but uh, the majority of our teachers are just using webmail. So let's take a look at what they are. First uh, set of tips is remember the four Ds. First one, do it now. D for do it now. If it's quick to read, if it's quick to reply, then why wait? Uh, the quickest way that you're going to put a backlog in your inbox is to not respond to some of those ones that you could very easily respond to. So if something's come in, you've read it really quickly, you know the answer and you can type up the response very quickly, makes sense to do it right away and get it done with. Next one is delegate to someone else. If something has come in to your inbox and you're not the right person for it or you have somebody in your team that maybe could do it more effectively and more quickly than you could, uh, then let's think about delegating. Forward that message on to that other person and say, hey, can you deal with this for me because uh, they need an answer soon and I can't provide it right now. The next one is defer till later and it says here add a flag, categorize it or move it to the to do folder. Let's see what that's all about. So let's look at my mailbox now and uh, I've got a whole lot of different things in my inbox. The newest things are at the top and the oldest things are further down. But uh, if I wanted to categorize some of these for deferring because I can't deal with them right now, then I can do a few different things. Say this one here. I can. Uh, choose to, uh, the option here to flag it. There's an option for flag. You just click on it and that simply highlights uh, a red flag against that particular message so that uh, I can, when I'm looking at my inbox, see that some of these are marked as flagged and I need to do something about them. I can even right click on it and I can choose to say I want to do something about this tomorrow or this week or next week or mark it as complete or clear the flag. So there are some flag options in there. It's useful sometimes, maybe, maybe not. You might like it, you might not like it. Uh, another option is to categorize. If you right click on any message, there's an option here that says categorize. And in there, by default, there are a whole lot of different colored categories, uh, green, orange, and red. There were a few other ones I deleted, um, the extra ones. But you can come in here and you can give them actual names that mean things to you. So for example, if I go into manage categories, I can click the pencil against green and I can say, this means that I have completed it, it's done. Uh, against the red category, I could mark that one as urgent. And against the orange category, I could mark that as to do. Okay, so now what I've done, save that. What I've done now is I've changed the names of those, but they've still got the colors of green, orange, and red. And now at my inbox, I can right click on the, any of these messages and I can go to categorize and I can say, okay, this one is a to do because I need to deal with it. And what it's going to do is add this category against it. And then I can, any of the ones that I've got to do, I can see very clearly that I still need to do something about it. This one here uh, is probably needing to be urgent. So I'll go to categories, categorize, sorry, and I will mark that as urgent. And it simply puts that flag on there. When I've dealt with it, I can right click on it again, go to categorize and choose the option that says clear all categories. And that should then disappear from there. Another way that people might want to sort their email so that their inbox is not so cluttered with uh, so many different things is to have folders underneath the inbox. And you can come in and create as many folders as you like, and you can name them whatever you like. So that's just a matter of right clicking on this folder here called inbox and choosing the option that says create a new subfolder and giving it a name. Now I've got a whole lot of names here already so I won't create a new one but I've got one called in progress and that's where I'd like to keep uh, all of the emails that I am not ready to deal with right now but I'll go back to and have a look at uh, very very often to uh, keep up with all of my work. So this one here could be such an email it's just a matter of grabbing it and dropping it into that particular folder. 
and I've now got one there called in progress and if I click on that folder uh, I will see that that one email is in there and the one that's showing next to it is because I haven't read it it's still bold and uh, I haven't dealt with that particular email as yet I can jump back to the inbox by just clicking that inbox button so I can drag and drop as many of those uh, emails as I like straight into that folder and looking back at our last D it's deleted if it's unimportant why leave it to clutter your inbox so how do you delete an email here's an email here it's just a thank you to say that uh, they're happy with everything that I said if you hover over it on the left hand side here there's a delete button and that simply disappears from the box if you need to delete lots of different ones you can simply click on the first one click on the second one click on the third one and select as many as you want to delete and it's a matter of clicking the delete button at the top here I won't do that because some of those I haven't even read so what's the next tip we talked about uh, under deferring moving to a to do folder but you can organize your inbox with uh, subfolders multiple subfolders sort the important emails by subject or by sender so if you're working on a particular project you might want to have a project folder where all of the emails relating to that project go into that folder uh, or if you've got important senders that you want to keep uh, all of their emails in one particular location then you can create a folder for those people so we saw that uh, in how I have my folders organized and it's really up to you to think about those folders that are going to be important to you so that you can create your own folder structure and organize your email a little bit more effectively okay next tip so create rules to automatically handle regular email as soon as it arrives now this is something that's very handy uh, particularly if you get emails say from your boss you know how we were just sorting our emails into different folders well did you know that you can automatically as new emails arrive put them get them to put uh, in be put into a particular folder simply by having a particular set of names or set of words in the subject or maybe uh, it's a particular sender so how do you go about creating a rule let's have a look at that now I've got an email that comes in every single day every single work day called the daily services health check and it's a it's an email that tells me uh, what problems there are currently with our IT services if there are any anywhere across New South Wales and um, it's a handy email to get but I don't need it cluttering my general email box I want it to go into a folder now one of my folders in here is called daily health check and I would like all of those emails to go into there so how do I do it if you find any of these uh, emails whether it's from the same person or whether it's um, from a particular subject you right click on it you choose advanced actions because we're doing an advanced function now and we're choosing create rule and then what it says here is always move messages that you receive as a member of this particular group which is the SHC minutes and I'm a member of that group to this folder and it's saying select a folder and I can say okay the folder that I want it's not one of those ones here move to a different folder it's this one here called daily health check and I say okay and it says creating that rule and it says your rule was created do you want to run this rule now in your inbox and what it's going to do is go through all of my inbox and find all of those daily health check um, emails and it's going to pop them straight into that folder in one go so I'll say yes please that sounds good and we go OK and hopefully it's going to do that for me that uh, should just disappear and if we go to it's still thinking as you can see it's looking through the inbox I've got a lot of emails in my inbox it might take a little while to find them all but if uh, while it's working if I go down to where my daily uh, that one's just disappeared you saw it disappear then and in daily health check what I'll find hopefully is uh, a bunch of emails found one so far it's thinking up oh, yesterday it's finding the others and so on so it's still processing this rule it's going through and this will um, simply populate with uh, all of those messages uh, I might need to go back in here and have a look at it at a later stage when it finishes processing that uh, inbox you can see that it's still 
processing here so uh, tomorrow when I get a brand new one about uh, 8 o'clock in the morning uh, it should automatically pop into that folder for me and I didn't have to do anything so that uh, is a nice click quick way so it's a matter of uh, right clicking on any message advanced actions create a rule and then you've got options to create rules you can create rules based on uh, the particular person's name who's sending it who's receiving it if it's a group that's receiving it what the subject is uh, the contents of the messages all sorts of different rules that you can create and uh, some of those rules could be move it into a folder or other rules could be delete the actual message so um, I don't want to get messages from this particular subject but I keep getting them all the time maybe I'm on a mailing list and I can't get off it then uh, you can do those sorts of things with the rules function very handy indeed so let's uh, jump back to the next section and the last two tips I don't need to really demonstrate for you but uh, number four is don't get bogged down in lengthy email discussions if you've ever been in an email discussion that's had reply 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 and uh, people are talking and answering particularly if they're with multiple people they can get very long very hard to navigate and so on it might be easier to just pick up the phone and talk to them and uh, get everything sorted out or if it's a, a group of people arrange an online meeting so really easy ways um, to keep efficient because email can be very inefficient if you allow it to be and the last option is get Outlook on your mobile device whether it's on an iPad or whether it's on an iPhone or an Android device Android tablet there's an Outlook app that's available for it and you can get your work email on there doesn't mean you have to answer everything every time but it's very handy getting notifications of anything urgent that comes up on your phone no matter where you are and then it's up to you to decide whether you want to deal with that particular email on your phone or on your mobile device when you're out on the go or not it's a convenience thing but it's not an absolute must do thing for yourself that's totally up to you to keep your work-life balance sorted out but uh, one efficient tool is to use the mobile apps for Outlook anyway I hope you thought all of those tips were useful um, you've got the screen there that you can uh, take a screenshot of and uh, share that with other people as well 